Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm recording on a MacBook Air 2020 with the new M1 Apple Silicon chip and I'm going to be demonstrating the iPad and iPhone app, LumaFusion. So with the migration from Intel chips, one of the new features of this new Apple Silicon processor line is that we are now able to run iPhone and iPad apps on the desktop computer. Some apps are not actually available yet. So these, this uh, doesn't give us the actual game from the iOS version and there's no desktop Mac version either. Um, so it's an opt-in thing. So um, some developers like uh, LumaFusion's developer have actually allowed us to um, install the iPhone and iPad version. So there's no desktop version, but there is an iPhone, iPad version, which I've downloaded and I have right behind me. So I'm gonna just gonna demonstrate that. Um, the application itself um, has kind of touch control. So I'm using two fingers to, to scroll left and right here on the timeline. I can also use uh, pinch and zoom. And I'm sure that there's lots of other features that I can um, use. Obviously there's no touch capability and this is primarily a touch screen um, enabled application, but um, it does actually work quite serviceably with the um, desktop Mac. I'm sure that I'll add more support for the desktop Apple Silicon M1 line. So um, some shortcuts do work. For example, when I, when I press space, the, uh, the, it will play and pause. And um, I haven't played around with it too much, but I'm sure that if we experimented more, it's gonna work even better. So one of the cool things is that it has really um, deep integration with the iCloud photo library. So I can just go into photos and find all my files here. Um, and I think it's slightly less cumbersome than the standard finder integration for photographs on the iCloud photo library. So I can just pull in files from there. And what's also cool is that um, I can just pull in um, entire project libraries. So I'm gonna airdrop this um, LumaFusion project library. So if, we, if you look here on the bottom right, you can, you can export this LumaFusion project package from your iPhone or your iPad. And what I'm gonna do is um, airdrop one of my projects onto the M1 desktop um, now. And um, it's, it's pulling in from my iPad and it's just gonna open up straight away in this um, LumaFusion. So if I click open, that's gonna pull in the project file. And um, yeah, I've got this one of my video on migrating the Intel to Apple Silicon um, migration assistant. So it's very cool that you can just use this. And um, I'm just gonna try a render as well. So if I pull this um, movie file and I put this into files, and then I render it at the standard 1080p and uh, click export. You know, it's doing a pretty serviceable quick job with this quality video. So that whole video rendered pretty quickly and um, I've been quite impressed with it, to be honest. So I'm gonna save that there. And um, yeah, you can see that LumaFusion works really well. I can go into clips and um, edit them and change the cropping, the size, etc. add effects. So yeah, this uh, this software is pretty usable, even though it's you know not designed to be used for a Mac at all. So um, anyway, I hope you found this little demonstration of LumaFusion on the M1 Mac useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and check out my next tech video.